It's that time of the year again. We're a couple of days, three days away from the biggest show of the year. Pro wrestling wise, we've got hundreds of thousands of wrestling fans accumulating in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, not only for WrestleMania 40, but also for so many other shows taking place around the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor as well. So, with that said, it's time to get into WrestleMania predictions. And of course, let's take this one step at a time. Let's take this one night at a time because both nights are looking to be very interesting and very entertaining to watch. So with that said, let's go in, let's get right into WrestleMania Night 1. And of course, WrestleMania Night 1, WrestleMania Saturday, seven matches. You already know what the main event is. I'll get to that in a moment. But the match that is going to open WrestleMania Saturday is going to open WrestleMania 40. There's a lot of people betting that it might be the Usos going one-on-one -on -one with each other. That might be the case. I mean, who doesn't want to hear Jay Uso's theme song opening WrestleMania going like that, you know? But I think a ma the, the match that will open WrestleMania 40, of course, is gonna be the mo is gonna be the one for the Women's World Championship, a match that WWE has held off on. For a year now, ever since Rhea Ripley became champion last year by defeating Charlotte Flair, they've kept her apart from the man, Becky Lynch. And even though they, they arguably could have done a better job of building contenders up and building challengers up for Mommy, her title reign suffered from lackluster challengers sometimes, it's finally time to get to the big guns because it's Mommy versus the man it's a bona fide main event. Hell, this could be the main event of night one if it wasn't for that tag team match that we all know of. But with that said, who walks out of WrestleMania 40 with the Women's World Championship? And if you've been following my content, if you've been following this channel for quite some time, you already know my answer. I firmly believe Becky Lynch, the man, is going to be Women's world champion once again by defeating Rhea Ripley just not at Wrestlemania 40 it, it, it won't happen in Philadelphia it shouldn't happen in Philadelphia in all honesty Rhea Ripley winning this match puts her over the edge and that's what we need that's what we need to finally consolidate her as a top main event superstar not only in the women's division, but also in WWE as a whole. Now, obviously, backlash is coming up. I think that's where Becky Lynch might win the title in France, Francois. But we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, Rhea Ripley walks out still women's world champion. And, of course, we got to get ourselves into a tag team match. We got to cool down a bit. After that bona fide main event opener, we've got to cool the, the crowd a bit just so they can start to warm back up to the other matches. So the next matchup is going to be the slightly thrown together tag team match. The LWO, Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee facing off against Santos Escobar and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. It's a tag team match thrown together in the last minute. I honestly thought this was going to be more Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar one on one. Obviously, uh, they didn't really build up Santos Escobar that much in terms of getting him to the point that he could be a, a top challenger to Rey Mysterio's at, uh, popularity at WrestleMania. So now we get this tag team match. And everything seems to tell me that Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee have to win this match. They have to. I mean, Rey Mysterio just lost to Santos Escobar a couple of weeks ago. Dragon Lee is a brand new member of LWO, and if that team loses, Dragon Lee is going to be the one taking the pinfall. Not a very good first look 
for the future of Lucha Libre in WWE. So, with that said, I'm going to give the win to Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee by pinning Santos Escobar. No, Rey Mysterio pinning Santos Escobar. Again, we got to protect Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's got to do his underhanded t- tactics. Every time he has a microphone in, in his, close to his mouth, the crowd just absolutely boos him. And I can't wait to have 70,000 plus strong booing the hell out of Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Moving on to the next match. Another candidate for opening match of the night, just based on the action, just based on the excitement, based on the amount of superstars involved in this contest. Six-pack tag team ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. The Judgment Day, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest defend against DIY, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa, not Regeneration X. The Awesome Truth, The Miz, and R-Truth. The New Day, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. A Town Down Under, Austin Theory, and Grayson Waller, and New Catch Republic, Pete Dunne, and Tyler Bate. Six teams, two sets of titles. Michael Cole made this point very clear on Monday night on Raw. He said that even if one set of tag team titles was to be brought down, if another set remained up there, the match would continue opening up the possibility to finally get the tag team titles, the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships to split. The same tag team titles that were the main event of last year's first night of WrestleMania where Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens ended the historic reign of the Usos to become the brand new tag team champions. Now with that said, who walks out undisputed tag team champions of WrestleMania 40? And I'm going to use one of my cop-outs here because there's tons of possibilities. If somebody walks away with both sets of titles, undisputed tag team championships, both set of titles, red, blue, raw, SmackDown, if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be the Judgment Day retaining. It's the only way possible I see it going down. However, if the titles are going to be separate, if the titles are going to be split, the only way I see this working, the only way I see one tag team getting up, climbing up the ladder and grabbing just one set of titles is by focusing on one particular national treasure superstar. And of course, I'm talking about our truth and I, and I would not be surprised if on Saturday our truth climbs that ladder brings down one, one set of tag team titles gets down and starts leaving he tells him let's go we got the gold but hey there's another set of tag team titles up there and who walks out with those well the judgment day of course you can't really weaken that faction too much they have to walk out with some kind of gold so yeah if we're going to have one set of tag team champions Judgment Day retains. We're going to have two sets. Raw and SmackDown. You can decide whichever you want. Awesome Truth and Judgment Day walk out both tag team champions. I don't know. All I'm hoping is it's going to be a bonkers six-pack ladder match. Twelve men involved. Anything can happen. Anything can go down. Let's see what goes down. Let's see what goes down, of course. Then we got our six women tag team match. Another thrown together affair. Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE, Jade Cargill, the Storm herself, and Naomi facing off against a team of damage control. Six women tag team match. This is a very easy match to predict. Belair, Cargill, and Naomi end up winning this match. As simple as that. Number one, Belair has that whole undefeated streak going on at WrestleMania. I know it's not a singles uh, contest, but it's got to keep going. On top of that, it's Jade Cargill's first affair as a single superstar. Again, still in a tag team match. They got to they gotta start her off the right, the right way. So, yeah. And Diamond Control, their heels. 
They get beat up all the time by Bailey. They're going to be fine. They're going to be fine after, after this. All right, so that's six women tag team match. Belair, Cargill, and Naomi for the win. Moving on. A match is, I'm surprised it's not a street fight. The Battle of the Twins, the dream match for them, of course. It's not a bad match for wrestling fans, don't get me wrong. But at least for them, for Jimmy and Jay Uso, that's what they've always wanted to do. They've always wanted to compete against each other on the grandest stage of Omaha, and they're doing it in Lincoln Financial Field. Jimmy Uso versus Jay Uso. I didn't think this match was going to be this hard to predict because it's very, very easy to just say that Jay Uso is going to win this. He's main event Jay Uso. He's the top babyface, excuse me. But we've seen it in the past. If I'm not mistaken, WrestleMania 10, brother versus brother, Bret Hart being the favorite, ends up losing to Owen Hart. WrestleMania 25, or as they called it back in the day, back, I, I believe that's the very first, no, it's not the first WrestleMania I watched, but it's one of the first I remember. The 25th anniversary of WrestleMania, Matt versus Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, of course, a fan favorite to win it, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Matt Hardy end up, end up, ended up winning that match. I may be wrong about that, you have to fact check me on that. Damn it. It's very hard. Because, again, this is all about the bloodline. There's a lot of people involved in these matches. Involving the bloodline. Losing power. Gaining power. Gaining wins. Gaining losses. How it affects their arrests going forward. We saw it at last year's WrestleMania. The Usos lost their historic tag team title reign. And Reigns ended up retaining. They lost some of their power. They didn't lose all of it. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go with the favorite. I'm going to go with main event Jey Uso walking out with the win. But again, anything can happen. Solo Sikoa might make himself useful during this match. Let's get to our sixth match. Singles match for the Intercontinental Championship. It's not a bad training montage or, or backstage segment between Sami Zayn and Chad Gable. Not bad at all. I like the fact that Gunther, the ring general, used... Chad Gable to bait Sami Zayn on this past episode of Monday Night Raw. That builds up a little bit more uh, aggression between the two for WrestleMania 40. But make no mistake about it, the ring general is walking out still intercontinental champion. It doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. They take the title off of the dominant historic European champion right before European shows. I'm going to go with my business side of things. So, Gunther is walking out still. Intercontinental champion. Let's see. And then we finally get to the main event of night one. WrestleMania Saturday's main event, a historic tag team match. The Bloodline, the final boss, The Rock, the Tribal Chief, and Universal Champion Roman Reigns facing off against the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And the winner of back-to-back -back Royal Romo matches, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. If the Bloodline wins, it's Bloodline rules for WrestleMania Sunday. If Cody and Seth win, the Bloodline is completely barred from ringside for the main event of WrestleMania Sunday. High stakes. High interest. Four of the biggest superstars in recent memory for WWE. And I'm going to take this off the table as fast as possible. I don't think anyone is betraying anyone in this match. It just wouldn't make sense. Especially since we have WrestleMania Sunday. The next day, of course. If Seth betrays Cody... Then we don't have a clear babyface for the world title match on WrestleMania Sunday. 
if The Rock betrays Roman Reigns, or if Roman Reigns betrays The Rock, it could go either way, that takes the spotlight away from Cody Rhodes possibly finishing his story. Possibly. Possibly. I'm, I'm really emphasizing possibly right there. So I'm taking betrayal off the table. Completely. So who walks out with the win? Very easy, very simple. The bloodline ends up winning this match because the bloodline is going to get involved in all parts of this match. And the bloodline needs to get involved in WrestleMania Sunday because we saw it last year. Cody Rhodes had Roman Reigns. He had him. One-on-one, -on -one, no interference. Cody Rhodes might have won that match. It's the way they booked it, the way they were telling the story in the middle of that ring, I was in that stadium. He was pretty damn close to winning it. Then the Usos got involved, saying and Owens made their run in for the save, and then Solo with the spike ends the dream. So with that said, I'm going with the bloodline. I'm going with The Rock and Roman Reigns, and Here's the, here, here's the funny part. If Cody Rhodes takes the pinfall, that might mean Cody Rhodes is guaranteed to win WrestleMania Sunday. Because they're, they're, I don't think they're gonna have him. They're gonna have him be pinned twice in one weekend. So keep your eye on that. So with that said. Those are my WrestleMania predictions for night one, of course, for WrestleMania Saturday. Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? What's your excitement level? What are, you, what are your predictions for WrestleMania Saturday? Leave them in the comment section below. With that said, I'm Alexis Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.